Hi guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to create a custom login and registration form via modal using a free plugin, membership plugin named Ultimate Member plus uh, Oxygen Builder. So in a nutshell, this is what we're going to achieve. So someone, when someone clicks, uh, you get a uh, login screen as well as a register. So this one, since I'm already logged in, this shows that uh, we are already registered. But I'm going to show you the front end later. So we just need, uh, first, you just need to uh, install this plugin, Ultimate Member uh, User Profile Registration. So this is a free plugin, and this is very decent. And then, yeah, and then Oxygen Builder. So first and foremost, uh, we need to go to uh, when you install and activate the ultimate member plugin you will see a, a tab here and you just go to forms and here you can see the different forms uh, that can be used uh, for the registration page so I just need to have the default registration and then uh, as you can see here, there are three default tabs, the username, email address, and password. So you can actually um, enter like how many like, any details that you want, first name, last name. So for now, we'll just go with the default one. So, and then uh, afterwards, uh, I customized this um, registration form so that you will see uh, uh, some uh, I mean you can customize some uh, settings so user assign role this is customer this this depends on what you want the the good thing with this is that you can uh, uh, this is the only free plugin that you are able to control what is the user role upon registration so as you can see uh, admin editor uh, there's a lot of you can choose so this is really very decent plugin member uh, membership plugin that is free and then template default and maxed with this is actually the max width for the uh, the form and then field icons show with label actually you can edit this um, field and put a uh, icon here but uh, we won't be doing that so this is really good uh, it makes your form much more you know um, intuitive and then the register button this is here and then show secondary button the second bar secondary button is actually for logging in but we will be using another form for logging in so this is what we will see on the front end but I've customized some of this so yeah so the first thing we need to do is uh, let's go ahead and create a model so this is a model as you can see and then for the model uh, you can actually So first things first when creating a model uh, we need to choose the trigger so we need to choose this one this actually really depends on what your um, website is but me um, I've triggered this model to a header on the desktop header that's why it's different here but uh, more or less we are not concerned about that so I've actually already have this one um, we're just going to edit this so what we're gonna use is we're gonna be using tab widget there you go so in the tabs widget um, since we're going to use two tabs only we're going we're going to delete this third tab and also we're going to delete the third tab content 
alright so as you can see there's uh, content 1 and content 2 tabs so what we we'll just need to do is actually just uh, we we'll will just gonna drag this login and then delete and then let's just duplicate this one and then drag this on the other side okay so we're gonna this is register and then for the first tab I'm just going to drag this one there you go this is the content for the login so I'm just going to delete it so as you can see um, if one switches to another uh, tab so uh, and then we're going to add another text for the forget password so forget password click here so we're just gonna with this forget password you actually need to uh, know your forget password link and then we're just gonna style this a bit uh, with this we need to change the class to the active since uh, we're going to style some uh, a bit for the active class 25 there you go so that um, here there you go. so as you can see uh, it is more clear as to what tab the user will click since we just changed the background a bit and then afterwards we're going back to the form to the this one and then we're just going to use the short code for the form this is really uh, really easy since we're just going to um, add a short code here short code paste then make sure to have the width 100% so that it will uh, oh, I think got the uh, wrong sorry I actually created this one for <laughs> preparation sorry for that So need to change the background a bit sorry for this if you're lost um, but uh, this one is actually just customizing but um, the thought is uh, you can really relate so for the registration tab on the content just need to add a short code here from the one we've created or uh, we copied earlier and then we'll just create uh, delete this one you need to make sure that the short code is on 100% width so that it will take up the whole um, this one the whole length and then we just have set this to the left there you go sorry and hit save all right so what we're gonna do now is we will be logging out, Log out. to see if
so as you can see uh, login this is the register here so this is the front end of the website so user can now register on the page so that's just how easy uh, to have a custom login and registration page on our website if you learned uh, a lot if you learned from this video uh, kindly hit the like button or hit subscribe thank you